Full copy of any recorded match is available to buy for scouting, training and analysis purposes. We also offer services to individual players who are looking to build a video portfolio. For more information, please contact us on Twitter or send an email to williams at wdsports.co.uk. Thank you. Hello and welcome to WD Sports, episode 31 of the ESL Football Show. Woodford Town and Enfield 1893 came together to produce a thrilling game of football in Essex Senior League mid-table clash. Woodford came into the game full of confidence off the back of a 6-0 demolition of Redbridge, while Enfield were unbeaten in their previous five league matches. The sides traded half charters in the early stages, Jordan Sanderson steering a free kick wide before Jimmy Cox's excellent first touch set up a shot that he cold around the far post. Woodford would have the opportunity to go in front after the referee points to the spot following a foul on Timmy Babalola by Kamal Llewellyn Reid. Vlad Sigiato stepped up to take it, but Jaden Hocking Rising was on hand to palm the spot kick clear. Woodford wouldn't have to wait long to take the lead, however, as from the ensuing corner, Joshua Steele rose highest to head the ball home into the corner of the net. Babalola received a defence splitting pass from Ethan Kessel, doing well to muscle past the defender before seeing his shot blocked by Hockey Rising. The following corner almost provided Woodford their second, Jack Grosvenor failing to make contact with the ball after it had just flown beyond the keeper's hand. Timmy Babalola was proven to be a handful for Enfield, beating two defenders on a mazy run and receiving a lovely flick in return for Mr Yeltow. An excellent move that deserved a better finish than the erratic strike it got. Enfield then began to grow into the game, their first test of Woodford keeper Alex Reid coming from a header that flew comfortably into his arms. An equaliser should have come for the away side when Ben Bradbury's pinpoint pass found Jimmy Cox, but the striker's hesitation allowed Reid to come off his line and smother the ball. That's too far off, don't you? Enfield's good work was to be undone five minutes before the break as Kessel laid the ball off to Sanderson, who raced into the area before driving a powerful shot into the top corner. A good move and a nice finish, but Hocking Rising would be disappointed to have conceded as such at his near post. Almost immediately, Enfield would answer. Woodford were caught off guard by the quick free kick, leading to Chris Jolin's foul on Arnold Hackshu. Jimmy Cox deal with his opposite number had failed to do at the other end, convert from 12 yards, giving Enfield some momentum going in at half time. <laughs> The 
second half carried on from the 10 past the first. Jolin's clever long ball over the top finding Babalola, who was just unable to corral it to get a clean shot away. Enfield were providing pressure if not producing the clearest of chances. Joe Johnson skewing a long range effort high and wide before Luke Thomas's square ball was cut out by Reid. When Enfield did finally draw level, they did so in style. Starting with Hakju in midfield, the ball made its way through Bradbury to Thomas, his pinpoint cross being excellently controlled by Cox, who swiveled to turn a perfect strike into the bottom corner. Barely five minutes had passed before Enfield fell behind yet again. Sanderson picked out Asher Modest with a through ball and the substitute beating the on-rushing keeper to curl the ball into the empty net. As it was in the first half, Henfield's response would be a quick one. A crossing from the left was met by the left foot of Cox, steering his miraculous volley into the top corner to draw Renfield level. A sublime finish from Jimmy Cox, completing his hat-trick with what will undoubtedly be a strong goal for the month's contender. <laughs> Cox was soon to find the net for a fourth time, but his header from a free kick was ruled out by the linesman's flag. Desperate to rescue the three points, Woodford had one last roll of the dice, but the shot drifted across the face of goal, bringing an end to a highly entertaining game of football. Woodford remained on the fringes of the Essex Senior League upper echelon, while Enfield stay in the thick of the lower mid-table quagmire, this result being their fourth draw in six games. Bottom of the table, Barking side travel to Ilford, hoping to avoid their full successive defeat. On mid-table, Ilford were looking to get back on track, having lost two of their last three Essex Senior League games. Things got off to a terrible start for the home side, however, as goalkeeper Hugo Bassett's wayward pass from the back provided Craig Jenkins with an open goal to give Barking side an early lead. It seemed to be a recurring problem for Bassett, as a poor goal kick gave the ball directly to Mario Cagini, but the striker was unable to make the opposition pay for their error. Ilford's first chance would come from a corner headed just over the bar, but from there it was all barking side again. Jeekins was played in on the left hand side, but his square ball was completely fluffed by David Hornsby, despite the striker being under little to no pressure from any defenders. After a scramble on the edge of the area, the ball broke to Jake into notions of space, but his strike bounced back off the crossbar and was cleared by Ilford. Jeekins again would have another good opportunity, but he stabbed his shot over the bar. Ilford still struggled to produce clear-cut chances, Lamar Douglas coming close to finding the far corner with what might have been intended as a cross. Barkinside's pressure continued, but they were unable to double their lead before Ilford finally pounced. Yeah. 
Douglas won a free kick in a dangerous position and took it himself, curling in a cross that was deflected to the edge of the box, where Billy Gollidge was waiting to fire into the top corner with his left foot. Undeterred, Barking side came forward again. James Ross latching onto a through ball and shooting, but Bassett produced a fine save, springing up to watch the ball trickle towards the goal and bounce off the post before being frantically cleared by all the defenders. Barkingside was seemingly having one of those days, evidenced again by more comedic football as a cross was initially dealt with and fired goal once again, taking deflections off a defender and the goalkeeper before finally Bassett was able to hold onto it. With just over five minutes to play, the inevitable happened. Ilford pumped a long ball forward that Barkingside defender Harry Matthews attempted to deal with, instead heading the ball over his own keeper and into his own net. Ilford almost added a third late on as College curled a long free kick over the bar, but the own goal would be enough to seal it for Ilford. A dreadfully frustrating afternoon for Barkingside, who could have won by a large margin had they just taken their chances. Craig Jenkins especially will feel aggrieved as he could have had a hat-trick in the first half alone. Ultimately, it's a result reflective of Barkingside's season, one that sees them still bottom of the Essex Senior League. Thanks for watching another brilliant episode of the ESO Football Show. See you next week. Turn it up. Let's go. Let's go.